Yo. <clears throat> I have never been so underwhelmed with a show. I don't even know. Does that go together? I think so. Y'all. First of all, this is my third time recording this video because it's been cutting off. And then I realized that um, my computer um, had to install some updates. That's why I was acting up. So this is my third take on this damn review. I wasn't going to do this review, y'all. But um, because only because it was just so damn dry and boring. I was just like, I can't with the world right now, Dolly. I was just like, what the hell is this? Like this whole format, Mona in her wigs and her bags. And her um, sandals, like she tried it, like with this whole format. I understand you hired a bunch of um, hood rats who don't know how to act, but you knew what you was getting, girl. Like you can dress them up, you can make them all look pretty. It means nothing, girl. You can't take old nasty lion from um, from the damn Africa or a lion from from the zoo and, and, you know, put it in your basement and think it's just going to sit there and be cute and, you know, act right. Like, ugh, it's wild, child. So it's just like you you know what you were getting. And for, like, this, for her, I guess, I'm assuming it was all her decision, but I could be wrong, but whatever. For her to just have this kind of um, individual interviews with people, that's so boring. When, when past seasons ago, when you've had, um, Jocelyn and Stevie destroy whole sets. Like you didn't think that that was cool. Like, did, how did you think? Did you think that was an appropriate thing to do? So you just did a totally one eighty from that. Like, come on now. You know we get on these reality shows. We get there's a group of people sitting on the couch on the stage. Somebody else sitting on the other side of the stage on the couch. Um, and then. They rotating is the people sitting down in front row the cast. You know how we do. Like, so this whole format thing is just crazy to me. And it's it's just foolish since it can't nobody like sit beside each other that is that much like hate and is that like real or whatever. Um, uh, I was just I, I would get my check and go. I went and and it's crazy, like half the time when they do these shows, like when they do the the reunion for these shows. They be done stopped filming like five and six months ago. So are you still mad after six months? And most of the time it's something petty. So are you still mad after half a damn year or almost a whole year? And you ain't even seen this person. So you still mad. Oh, I can't wait to see them. I'm going to pop them. Why? It have been six or seven months. So you've been pissed off going to sleep with a headache every day until you see them again. Child cheese. Foolishness. But anyway... Okay, let me see what I damn remember. If you can gaze into the future, you might think life would be a breeze. I miss that so, Raven. That was back when everybody liked Raven. Now I wish she would just stop talking. My God. Okay, but anyway, back to the show. Um, What happened, y'all? Who did they start off with? They started off with um, Tammy and um, Bambi, Tammy and the deer. Um, they were sitting down talking to Nina. Nina asked about Waka. She says that she's back. Um, she's she's not with Waka. Her and Waka don't stay together. You know, sometimes it's women, so you have to take breaks and this and that. I guess um, after, you know, being cheated on about 34 times, I guess it's time for a break, um, Tammy. Um, and she says that a lot of the stuff that they hear that we see in the blogs ain't necessarily true and this and that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Bambi was just there for more support. She said her and Deb is still cool, you know, ain't nothing changed between her and Deb, which is good. Um, but you know, as we all know, her and Waka is back together. So, yeah. I don't even know why Tammy got dressed up. I don't know why a lot of these people showed up. Uh, Kay could have Kay Michelle could have stayed at home. Um, with D. Smith and Walker and Deb. Um, Betty could have stayed at home. Uh, Ernest them could have stayed at home. Rashida them could have stayed at home. A lot of these people could have stayed at home. This whole season was honestly all about Jocelyn, Stevie, um, Tommy, and the King family. And and I guess a little bit of Tiara. 
that's pretty much it. Like, everybody else could have stayed at the house. Like, nobody needs to see Dime. And I guess maybe Carly. But everybody else could have stayed at the house. Like, there was no point in them giving their little input in, in all this stuff. It was just like, it was craziness. Oh, and I guess Mimi. But Mimi could have just, you know, she just got, she could have, they could have stayed on Mimi for like 10 minutes and had her segment. And, you know, in the part one, we could have just been done with Mimi. Like, I don't know. It's just, they just drag dumb shit on. Like, stuff that we didn't even care about. That's what they talked about mostly. But anyway, um, so we got Tammy out the way. Um, Nina was talking to Carly Red. And um, she was saying that uh, uh, Carly was saying that her and Jock um, left the trap where it went down, and that um, Jock been apologizing her left and right. They've been kicking it left and right, and you know, Carly is just a slut. Tommy had mentioned that um, basically they offered Carly to scrap Dillion as like an offering, you know, for the Illuminati girls. Um, and basically said, huh, bitch, here you go. You know, Scrap was just trying to get bust all the nuts that he can before he went to jail. And Carla was just one of the girls that he tapped. Um, which is probably true. Um, and, um, Stevie said himself that Carla, they called Carla in the mouth of the South or something. And it's a shame. You at your age is still doing the shit that you used to do back in your 20s. Like, really? I thought people supposed to, I thought people supposed to eat in how do you say not in vogue hold on to your love you got to hold on yeah yeah keep it tight and don't let go hey oh baby 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 oh no hold on to your love hey you know i thought people supposed to evolve you know like don't backtrack you know, which, uh, Carly's ridiculous. She's ridiculous. Anything that happens to Carly, I kind of want to say she deserves a little bit. Because Carly, um, as far as like with this show or whatever, or I guess love in general, because Carly has been doing shit since the very beginning of this show. Like, I don't know. It'd it be the people that be starting the most shit want people to feel sorry for them when they when when it all comes back around to them. And, you know, karma don't have to hit you instantly. It can hit you years down the line. And people wonder why they're going through so much shit. Look at all the shit you used to do to people. It's all coming back. Like, you know, and it's all coming back to me now. Come on, Celine Dion. When you hold me like this and you touch me like that. I got the CD upstairs too, forgot the words. And it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. I love Celine. Um, also, um, yesterday was um, Whitney Houston's birthday. So uh, rest in peace to Whitney Elizabeth Houston, Nippy, The Voice, legendary, iconic. There would never be another Whitney Houston. There would never be there would never be another holy trinity, which is Whitney, Mariah, and Celine. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. The most influential and biggest selling female artists of all time. Like there would never be another Whitney, Mariah, and Celine. Good luck, girls, that's out there today. Some of y'all are good, but you know, just mm -mm, that 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 those voices, that music, those that uniqueness, you know. Oh my god. Some of the girls don't need explosions and, and dancing clowns all around the fucking stage to get a stand to know. You know. Whatever. Okay, um, so y'all know we have to have a singing moment on every video. It's just it's just natural to, to who I am. But um okay. Okay, Carly and Jock. Oh, um, let's just get Carly out the way. So Carly and Dime, Dime looking like a space cadet. Um, she's just a fool. And she thinks she's so classy and ratchet. Be trying to call people out. I can't with dime pennies. I can't. The fool. But um. Anyway, she talking. They brought out Life Jennings. Um, Nina asked Life. Uh, must be nice. Um, they asked him. Well, she asked him what did he think about when Carly fell to the floor when you know when you popped out the ring. He was just like, I want her ass to stay there. I fucking fell out. 
life is low key and I'm a comedian. Um, and and Carly, um, in Carly's mind, she said that um, life said to her when that when the, her and life was getting serious that he wanted to open a relationship. Um, you know, all of a sudden, and then she found out that he was sleeping around or messing around with some with some girl, the girl that had his baby. Um, life was just like no, we was together at the time. You know, life was just kind of you know giving it back to her, whatever. Dime started asking questions that nobody cared about. Life, you know, pretty much, you know, he was just saying that she crazy and she's possessive and all this kind of crazy stuff, which is all true, I'm sure. Um, Carly starts shouting and praise dancing and acting a fool. And um, Nina asks, is there any kind of, you think there ever be any kind of reconciliation between you and life? She just turned her head like, no, Carly's just acting a fool. Like, she's too old for this. She really is, y'all. Okay, so that was pretty much it. I don't know who the hell did um, Carly's ombre, but it looked the fool. Um, so, you know, God bless her. All right, um, let's move on to Mama D and Ernest. Hopefully, Ernest is okay. Ernest had um, a little recent like scare. He has an aneurysm, I believe, and it was like on the verge of bursting, and. Um, you know, thank God it didn't because they said it could have been his life or whatever. So, you know, hopefully Ernest is okay now and, you know, gets better. Mama D explained to the people why she laid the egg and it had something to do with some poop story, some dog shit story, some chow chow. I don't know what the hell. Um, you know, she was just like, oh, I don't really think that Rashida is, is, is a um, poopster and this and that. The Frost, Rashida don't could have stayed at home as well. I really don't know why Rashida put that blind wig on her head. Okay, my mom's getting up in a minute. She's going to use the bathroom. She's probably going to yell down here. Okay. It's only like quiet or whatever because, you know, I, I haven't told my mom to do YouTube videos yet. Um, my Two of my, I think my aunts know. I have three aunts. One of my aunts know. It's not that I'm hiding it or anything. It's just, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know why I won't tell her. I'll probably tell her. But then I have to explain everything to her. She's not really like, um, like computer savvy and stuff and everything. So I would have to like explain everything and, you know, I don't know. Maybe I should tell her. But I'm supposed to be upstairs right now. I'm actually supposed to be asleep for work. So. That's what she'll, you know, yell about. Why well, you still got them lights on? I'm sure y'all have heard her before. And then she's really funny. But, um, okay, um, what else happened? What the hell was I talking about? I always get distracted. Uh, Rashida them, yeah, for the Frost, they could have stayed at home. Um, what the hell did Rashida have on her head? Why did she choose that blonde wig? Like, you know, Rashida is known for her beautiful hair. That's one thing that I can't say about Rashida. Rashida hair be laid to the gods. And it has been since season one of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. And so why she opted to put this blonde hat on her head, I don't understand. Um, But whatever. I guess she wanted to change up her look. But blonde is not for her. No. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's get into um, Tiara them. Um, apparently, Tiara's married. Now, Tiara is one beautiful woman. She really, really is. Um, apparently, uh, Tiara is married now. And um, what else? She's married to some guy, and that's who she's pregnant by. She actually is pregnant, once again. Like, like KK said, um, six baby daddies. Um, six kids. It's time to settle down and get married. So good for her. Um, KK had mentioned that it was this girl who had um, like showed a picture of of her child to Tiara, um, and and she said the little boy looked just like King, and they said that they was brothers, but um, but Scrap is not the father of her child or some shit. So. You know, I guess we'll see next season what the hell is going on with that. But I'm sure it's nothing. KK just drama. 
um, a K Cap, the Clark sister, um, she had, you know, it was the whole thing about her stealing purses and stuff. And she says, I've been falsely accused and I personally didn't do nothing. I guess people just going around town spreading lies on K Camp. Okay. So um, she didn't have the dog with her, I don't think. Did she have the dog with her at the reunion? I guess she finally laid it to rest because it was dead anyway. So I don't know. Then, um, they had that whole thing. Nina asked, uh, Nina asked Tiara, would she still be friends with, um, Carly? And, uh, Tiara was like, yeah, as long as she don't try to fuck my man. Carly was like, oh, I don't mess with married men, but you just mess with people's men in general. So if somebody's just girlfriend or boyfriend, you're okay to fuck that up. But as long as they, but if they're married, then it's cool. I got you. Then you're not going to do anything if they're married. But if they're girlfriend or boyfriend, then you're going to, you know, just fuck around. Okay, I get it. Trash. Um, okay, let's see. Did I pretty much talk about everything? Um, oh, Mimi. Mimi, Chris, and Arian. Y'all... Arian done scapped some mannequin at the mall at Forever 21. Why did Arian put that on her hair? Arian is blessed. She's one of the few women that can actually pull off no hair or short hair. Uh, you know, a lot of people can't pull off, you know, just having little to no hair and be beautiful. But she is one of the few women that can. Um, who's some more, you know, the Nia Longs, the Halleys, um, the Tony Braxtons, the Keisha Coles, um, the Lupitas, you know, um, the Nene Leakes, the Mary J. Blige, um, you know, some people just look good with short hair, the Amber Roses, I hate to put her in the category of all those, you know, good women, but whatever. But she could literally pull off no hair. So I don't know why she chose that cheap ass lace front to put on. But anyway, Erin looked good. They oiled her up. She looked beautiful. I think Erin's one of the most beautiful women on the show personally. But she's just boring and annoying. And it's funny because Erin has been a part of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta since the very beginning. Yet she's still an extra. Yet she's still a best friend. She's still not a main cast member. That's the shade. But anyway, um... Chris, of course, is up there. Um, you know, little Chris Boom Dots, the little, you know, Mimi's boo was up there. And Aaron was getting all hype. Aaron was getting all in her feelings, all upset and shit. And we was trying to figure out what the hell is wrong with Aaron. Aaron has always went hard for Mimi. Harder than Mimi has went for her, but whatever. Um, because apparently Chris had, like, wrote a diss song or something. And he dissed Mimi and... Arian feels like um, that maybe Chris used Mimi for fame. What fame does Mimi got? Um, and uh, Arian didn't appreciate the way she treated her friend. And, and you know, Arian has some crazy things to say about the LGBT community when she is a lesbian herself. So I don't quite get it. And one thing that was funny was that Aaron was like, oh, I've been telling y'all about Mimi, that she is a lesbo. I've been telling y'all. So I'm sure Arian and Mimi done, you know, bumped around or two, you know, been on the long road together. I'm sure as we see that from the very beginning, we saw that or have been saying that from the very beginning, us, you know, vloggers or whatever, or people who watch the show in detail. Um, Okay. That was pretty much it. It was about to fight. Chris was like, I got somebody for you and this and that. I actually like Chris. I didn't like the way Mimi did Chris on the show. But, you know, us all can come back to her ass, too. Mimi looked great, though. Mimi looked really, really good. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Uh, Stevie and Jocelyn. Stevie came in there. He was upset. He was just like, what the hell you want me to do? I'm going to do the vegetation rights. And Jocelyn, the, the, the baby would never have your last name. Um, Stevie... 
honestly, Stevie was pretty nice to Jocelyn. He asked for an apology. She wouldn't give him one. She was like, you apologize. You said I was a Jew for six years. You supposed to apologize to your way. You did not do. Um, and Stevie was just like, oh, fuck you. And, you know, this and that. The producers went in there to get Stevie. They came back in. And Stevie was just like, look, I apologize. And then Jocelyn apologized. But according to Stevie and Jocelyn, nothing has changed. Stevie was just like, she, he's officially done with Jocelyn. She's free. And, you know, if the baby is his, then let the courts decide. And, you know, like I'm sure with the other one, Stevie. Um, and there you go. I actually do think Jocelyn is pregnant. Like, for real, for real. I think so. Um, was that it? You know, Jocelyn's trash. And, you know, it's pretty much it. Uh, but Jocelyn's done, though. Without Stevie, sweetie, you don't have anything. I'm sorry to say that. You really don't. Um, he gave you life, basically. And he might have treated you wrong and did all this and disrespected you and this and that. But he gave you um, something that you probably wouldn't have had before. And that's just the truth. Um, uh, Jocelyn just needs help. Jocelyn needs to go to the same therapist that Tommy goes to. They just need to go at different times because they'll kill each other. Um, let me ask y'all this question. Do y'all think that Love and Hip Hop should come back for another season? And if so... What do y'all want to see change about Love and Hip Hop Atlanta specifically? Like, do y'all think that Love and Hip Hop Atlanta could go on the same way that it's been going on and with these same characters? You know, and, you know, who would y'all change out? Who would y'all keep, et cetera? Let me know. Anyway, it's been real nice and real lovely reviewing the show with y'all. I appreciate y'all for liking my videos and commenting and subscribing. Keep doing that. Keep promoting my keep promoting me as I promote myself. I really appreciate that. Um and um that's pretty much it. Love Hip Hop Atlanta. It's pretty much over with y'all. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for some of my other videos, some of my other reality shows like Hollywood Divas. Um Love Hip Hop Hollywood is coming back. I'm reviewing that. Um what else? I think that's pretty much it for right now. Yeah. I was going to do the Braxton's, but they're so far in the season. It's just like, whatever. And cutting it in ATL, I really wanted to review that. That's like already started. I have to catch up on that. But um, one show that I really just like to enjoy, um, I'm not going to review it, but one show that I really like to enjoy, that I really love watching is Greenleaf. On the own channel and of course the heaven have nots but the only reason i stopped reviewing the heaven have nots is because tyler, tyler perry was the reason i got the copyright strike so you know i don't fuck with anything tyler perry anymore he scares me Dia scares the shit out of me it just does um but yeah that's pretty much it y'all with that said i missed it chill out. <coughs> mouth is so dry lately i need something in it Mr. Sherlock on Google Plus. Follow me at Kings World on Twitter. Um, all that good stuff. Chase King was here on Facebook at Kings World on Instagram at Kings World eighty nine on Snapchat. All right, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later for something. All right, bye.